Dragon Maids are one of the spiciest decks in Master Duel right now. And with Valentine's Day being here, of course, we had to show off a waifu deck. Let me tell you, this one has potential. Is this probably one of the most meta decks you'll ever see? Absolutely not. Will it be able to beat some of the more meta decks in the game? Hey, I'll say give them a run for their money, but, you know, majority of the time you are being dealt the losing hand, so to speak. Yeah. So if you're interested in dragons, anime girls with great personalities, and you like making it to where your opponent can't really play the game completely, this is the deck for you. And this is the deck list. As always with most of these deck lists, there are a lot of cards that you can replace. The main core of the Dragon Maid deck that we're going to be playing today is this. Everything else is extra. Of course, the rest of the stuff that we have in the deck is really nice, but it isn't needed whatsoever. So without making this extremely convoluted, I'm going to try to make this as quick and simple as possible. Our core cards in this deck are each of our Dragon Maids. Each of our Dragon Maids are able to special summon another Dragon Maid in the battle phase that is a higher level than them, usually their Dragon counterparts. But also, on normal and special summon, each of the Dragon Maids do something different. For example, Chamber will allow you to add a spell and trap card from your deck to your hand. Parlor allows you to send one Dragon Maid card from your deck to your graveyard. Kitchen allows you to add a Dragon Maid monster to your hand and then discard a Dragon Maid monster. And then Nurse allows you to special summon a Dragon Maid monster from the graveyard. Each one of these pretty ladies are absolutely necessary to, of course, win games, but I'm going to be honest with you, the one that matters the most is Chamber. Chamber is the make it or break it for this entire deck because she is what allows us to get going. Since this is a control variant of Dragon Maids, we most of the time want Chamber turn one, if possible. We don't need her, but being able to get her out onto the field or summon her some way somehow leads us to one of our best turn ones possible, which is using Chamber's effect to search for a Dragon Maid Tidying, which what this card allows you to do is that you target one Dragon Monster you control and one card your opponent controls, you return them both to the hand. And then while it's in your graveyard, you can special summon a Dragon Maid Monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position, but you have to return it to the hand during the end phase. And not just having this on the field allows you to have your best turn one, because you're usually going to try to have this and Heretic Seal on the field turn one so you can be ready with the place turn two not only just setting up for our best turn one play chamber is also very very responsible for getting out our dragon maid spells stuff like hospitality hospitality will allow us to special summon a dragon maid from our hand or graveyard and then send a dragon maid monster with the same attribute but a different level from our deck to the graveyard this is a way for us to get our bigger dragons in the graveyard so we can special summon them in the battle phase or of course getting out our dragon maid crossover which we can fusion summon into our big mamas over here pretty much if there's a way for you to get her in the graveyard or a way for you to special summon her some way somehow you're gonna want to do it as for our boss monsters in the deck, this girl in the standby phase special summons one level 9 or lower dragon maid monster from our hand or graveyard. Then, not only that, when an opponent activates a card or effect, you negate the activation and if you do, you destroy that card. Then, you return this card to the extra deck and you special summon one house dragon maid. House dragon maid is our other boss monster in the deck. Which she's kind of similar to Shio, but just not as good. Once per turn during the standby phase, you can target one of the Dragon Maid monster you control, and you special summon one Dragon Maid monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. And then, when another face-up Dragon monster you control returns to the hand, you can target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it. If we have other Dragon Maids on the field, like I mentioned before, we can return these Dragon Maid cards to our hand in the battle phase to special summon out our bigger Dragon Maid monsters to trigger the effect of House. Heretic Seal is a core to this deck once per our opponent's turn if this card's in the extra monster zone we can tribute one monster on the field and then return one face-up card on the field to the hand and then if this card is tributed we get to special summon one dragon monster from your hand or deck and make its attack and defense zero so this could be a way for you to instantly get out your nurse and let's say your chamber was in the graveyard you special summon your nurse due to the effect of heretic nurse effect activates it's able to special summon a dragon maid you special summon chamber out into the field, use chamber to search for any spell and trap card you want, and then boom, that's that. As for the other stuff, like I mentioned before, it's extra. Like for example, the black metal dragon and the red eyes darkness metal dragon are literally just here to help get out heretic in turn one. Maxi and Ash Blossom are easily replaceable in this deck as well. You don't have to run them. You can run other traps, other SR trap stuff like Draw and Lockbird, DD Crow, whatever you want. However, Call by the Grave, I would say is pretty required just because this deck does get hard stopped by a lot of hand traps. And you guys know, Master Duel meta is hand traps everywhere. 
And just because I know people are going to bring it up, yes, the Dragon Maid cards, apart from Lopar, because I don't know, she uh, she's lacking a little bit, but you know, she's trying at least, have quick effects, the big dragons at least. Tink Egg has an effect that allows you to discard this card to target one of your Dragon Maid monsters, it gains 2,000 attack. Ernest, discard this card to spell some of one level four lower Dragon Maid monster in your hand. Apart from that, that's the deck. Modify it, change it how you will. You can tell me down below what you think I should add, what I should take away, whatever the case may be. I feel like you guys are going to really enjoy it. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you do enjoy the video, you like it, whatever the case may be, please make sure to drop a like. And if you're not subscribed yet, could you please subscribe? A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of But now time for everybody's favorite part of the video. OP's mediocre gameplay. Look at the little win streak we're on. You know what I'm saying? Literally, the only time we lost was against this geezer. Because this man was playing a filthy, filthy Drytron deck. But as you see here, if I had DD Crow, I could banish this. If only side decking was a thing. And we actually drew a pretty interesting hand here. And to be honest with you, I'm going to see if this guy has an Ash Blossom by using Pot of P. Ash Blossom? Max C? If he doesn't activate this, then I'm assuming... Oh, he didn't. So in this very unique circumstance, I don't know if I'm actually going to want to go into Heretic here. We're just going to summon out our Shion right off the gate, which may be a mistake. Yes, but that has to be Max C. I wanted to make sure what that was before I did anything else. So we're going to fusion summon out our shield. We're going to get rid of our low part and our kitchen, send them into the graveyard and summon out shield. Mm -mm -mm. Big mama's on the field, but or now we could actually do something else, but uh, we're just going to summon chamber out, activate this effect. See if he has Ash Blossom as well. He doesn't. And we could technically Technically, we could do another special summon, but then we'll be playing in the max C, and I would rather just go into tidying here. And I'm gonna activate changeover's effect, return chamber back to the hand, along with changeover, and then set my dragon maid tidying. Standby phase, Shio effect, baby. And now we get to add anything from our deck to our hand, which we're gonna add a dragon maid hospitality because we already have a changeover. If he has a kaiju, he could yeet my Shio, but I haven't run into too many kaijus. What is this guy? What? So I don't know exactly when I would need to activate Tidying here, but let's see. What is he doing? You can fuse summon one dark monster from your extra deck using this card on the field and a monster in your hand. We're going to eat Shio out of here, which may be like, OP, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Hey, man, trust me. It's all going to work out. We going to do our thing. Right, equip spell. Special summon it? Can you activate this more than once per turn? You can only activate it once per turn. What's the point of special summoning it? Go into battle phase. Go into the battle phase. Go into the battle phase. Go into the battle phase. Do it. Oh my god. He's kind of playing a little bit smart. But you know what? We're going to return that uh, that face down that he has. Return our chamber. And we're going to target his face down. Now we get to activate her effect. And we get to pop this. Boom, baby. That's the power of the control deck. Ooh. So what we're going to do is here. Which may seem a little weird. But we're going to activate hospitality. And we're going to summon our kitchen onto the field this way we can send our tink heck to the graveyard with tink head in the graveyard you got hey we already you already know what we about to do right you already know you already know what we doing we can then grab our nurse send our chamber and at this current point in time we could technically i think end it our dragon mate activates bring out the chamber activate chambers effect to search for a spell or trap card of our choosing and we're going to grab another tidying just in case something happens we could change over here into someone else but uh we don't need to we tank it apart and then ladies and gentlemen oh wait wait what when opponent's monster clever and tag you supposed to summon this card from your hand after damage class it's this card battle you're gonna destroy that opponent's monster okay uh we could return the cards to our hand which i don't want to return low par but i am going to return this one and we're going to special summon kitchen onto the field is because I think I'm going to change over right now into Shio. They're going to activate change over. I'm going to yeet low par and I'm going to yeet nurse. Actually, we're going to bring out heretic as well. And this is probably one of the strongest boards we could have at the moment. We have a negate. We have a return. We have a tidying. And plus these guys effects are going to trigger right here. He's going to trigger the effect of this, and we are just going to tag out. We didn't have to do this because we did have house on the field, so this would have triggered house's effect, I'm almost certain, but now we're just going to summon house. Polymerization, boys. Okay, okay, okay. 
We got the poly coming out. We got a fusion coming. You know what's crazy about this, though? You know what's crazy about this? Watch this. Are you ready for something crazy that you can do? Chain link one. You're tidying. Target your heretic. We can send this card back to the hand. And we activate heretic. We tribute heretic off. Heretic returns this card back to the hand. Tidying returns that one. Yep, uh, that's that's kind of how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, you are so unlucky. I am sorry for what's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you play evenly matched. We're on a 10 win streak. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this, this hand is actually atrocious. I'm trying to think of a way to get out Heretic, but I don't think we can. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's playing. For some reason, I feel like he's going to be playing like a crazy combo deck. And the time that I don't draw evenly matched is the time when I'm going to need it the most. Oh, he's playing Pendulums. Talking about that with the Exceed Festival coming up, I wonder if Pendulums are going to be like, how are they going to work? Because they use the extra deck and you're only able to use Exceed monsters in the extra deck. But I guess since they're not naturally in the extra deck by default, you're able to use them. They're the only one too. I mean, this could be just because it's from a different time, but I always just thought the Pendulum cards look kind of whack. We have the Pendulums coming out, boys. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, shit, I forgot about this pendulum. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I forgot about that. Whoops. Oh, dude, I may just lose this because I just completely forgot about this guy. Did we just lose? No way. Really? That's how we lose because of a misplay that I had? Bro, that's so unfortunate. I completely forgot because I'm over here reading all these pendulum cards and they each have like a freaking MLA format essay on all of them. Well, I could have won that if I activated Tiding, targeted like one of his cards, sent it to the extra deck, sent my card back to the hand. I would have drew changeover. I could have activated Tiding from the graveyard, special summon out that, get out Shio, and you guys know the rest. 10 wins, one loss because of my misplay. And yeah, it's really fun. It's just unfortunate that we had so many surrenders. I really don't like so much surrenders because I like to show the deck play fully. It is what it is. That was Dragon Maids on Valentine's Day. You don't have to be alone this holiday because you always got your waifus. Your 2D girls can't leave you like she did. That one's kind of deep, but not gonna lie. If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend you check out the other deck highlight videos that we've done on the channel. I guarantee you're gonna enjoy those as well. And oh, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.